So, Michael, I was thinking that uh, we could do a little recording on uh, tips for facilitating board meetings. Yep. What do you got? Um, so the first place that I always want to remind folks is um, the best facilitation for a meeting actually starts well before the meeting. Um, so it starts with a well-planned agenda and an agenda where there's a clear connection between what the board has said they want to do and what they're happening to be doing at that meeting tonight or today. Um, that each agenda item should be identified, why we're talking about it, what, what the goal of the item is. So some items we're going to be talking about to build knowledge, some we're actually trying to make a decision about. Um, so those two things, just how the meeting uh, agenda is structured, goes a long way to making the rest of the facilitation easier. Uh, and then in the meeting itself, there's a few quick uh, tips. Um, sometimes facilitation, like any skill, is, is a lifetime of learning, but a few things that uh, facilitators can often do to help a meeting work is to um, add a little structure to the free-for-all conversation. So adding every now and then at least um, a, a, a go-round. Everyone gets to talk in turn and say their piece. Uh, something that often works for facilitators is to slow the conversation down by having folks write down their mm -hmm. thoughts first and then speak what they're, what they're trying to get across to the group. Um, and that helps focus the conversation. Uh, there, so there's lots of other tips like that. Um, and then finally, uh, at the end of a conversation, um, and maybe even throughout, the facilitator's role is, is often to make sure that you are mirroring back, summarizing, pulling together all the disparate ideas and helping the, the board as a whole, the group who's sitting there around the table, uh, hear back, this is what you are saying. Here, here's the agreement, or here's the tone, or here's the theme of the conversation and to try to do that as uh, honestly and uh, comprehensively as you can without trying to incorporate every single detailed idea. Um, so there's a few quick, quick tips. Yeah, cool. Thanks, Michael. Uh, one that I like that is built onto the uh, agenda planning mm -hmm. is to um, have a cover memo that the chair writes and circulates with the board packet. And, and um, what, the way I imagine that is that the board chair is kind of imagining the meeting and, and how the different parts are going to be facilitated. So it might, be, it might include a tip on how someone could prepare for the meeting, right? And uh, in my mind, this is like a translation of the agenda itself. Like some people can look at an agenda and imagine the meeting, but probably most people don't look at agendas that way. So if the board chair and facilitator have um, put some thought into what the meeting is going to look like and how it's going to go in terms of process, just describing that in advance helps people participate in the, in the meeting itself. It's a little bit of extra work for the, those people in advance, but I think it's a real value added for the people who haven't had the advantage of talking about the meeting in advance. Um, and then uh, something else I like to do when I'm facilitating is introduce each agenda item with a couple sentences, maybe just one sentence about what's the point of this agenda item and how are we going to do it. So it might be, um, hey, we have a few minutes. 10 minutes to handle this, and uh, it's a decisional item. At the end, we're looking to have a decision made, and here's the process that we're going to use to move through it. So you're giving people a whole, con a whole little package there, and uh, as opposed to just ending up in the agenda item and kind of assuming that people have a picture of you know, what's going to happen. Um, and I really like the idea of um, paying attention to different ways for different ways to design in to assure that different, uh, that all, everyone can contribute. And um, Brett Fairbairn, at one of his last uh, workshops he did where we were at, he, he described uh, what was important about meetings is that they're about allowing the unexpected to happen. And that really stuck with me because I really like to have a meeting that's well planned and, and I can really imagine it. And so what does it mean for the unexpected? And that, I think, is that that voice uh, emerges, that idea that uh, is actually going to move the group forward. And so for the facilitator, you're like looking for how do I allow that to happen in the meeting. So thanks, thanks Michael.